Yo, 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 how's it going? This is Deacon. So, yesterday, the Injustice 2 DLC Fighter Park 2 trailer had dropped. So, if you have not seen it, go away and watch it now. Go enjoy it, listen to that great music's way it, and what characters are going to be coming very soon. Okay, hopefully you've done that. So, that's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, obviously, I was excited for Sub Zero. But this new fighter park, I always keeps it interesting, new fighters come in. So as you see with the video, there's all the previous fighters. There's Starfire, Boo, Red Hood, he's no bad. But there's Zona, but never mind, like Starfire, Boo, Boo, Boo. And then our main man, Sub-Zero, gets effed up big style by electricity. And who comes out the shadows but the Lord Raiden, Thunder God himself. Pretty awesome, like... He's looking pretty, yeah, uh, the style of him, obviously we're going to get custom gear anyway. I don't know about the, that facial Kenny mask, it's Kenny maybe attached to his heart. I'm a wee bit, I'm a wee bit, so-so mm, with that. Everything else looks cool though, you know, he does look cool. I like Raiden, especially because he's an MK1 OG. He's one of the originals. So, uh, hopefully it'll be the same voice actor, because that was a good, good guy who done his voice in Mortal Kombat. X. Plus he did do the voice in Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe as well, if I remember right. So I'm assuming it's maybe the same voice actor who done it with MK9, but I don't know. But anyway, looks good. You can see him doing his wee disappearing teleport thing as well. But, as we saw with the last, the first DLC fighter park, there's Sub-Zero with Bloomin' Swords, you know, when they're doing the wee outro bit of the video. You're thinking, oh, is a bit of ninjutsu stuff kind of going on, like I spoke before, and no. It's just, you just see them doing it, and then um, they just disappear, you know, so. Uh, which is a bit disappointing. I would have I liked them, I had that, as I say, instead of the ice cone. But, anyway. Hopefully Raiden's going to hear his disappear, his teleport, he has to, you know, along with Superman and his lightning as well. Uh, hopefully it'll be a nice fast teleport he's got on. So he's got to be interesting. Looking forward to him. Definitely. I'll give him a shot. And then you get good old Black Manta coming out of the water. So he's new to me. You know, I've heard of him mainly because of this game. He looks familiar because I've seen him before. And what is it the DC Universe with colours? You know, you've got Black Arrow, you've got Black Canary, and you've got Black Manta, Green Arrow. Oh, they like their colours, you know? They like the, especially the black. There's probably some up, some black, something else out there as well that we don't, I don't know about. But he looks cool, you know, as um, with the cannons. I didn't know he had the shoulder cannons. So, yeah, instantly it just looks like a predator with that type of cannon there. He, he kind of reminds me, you probably think I'm obsessed, but he kind of, he's got a wee bit of that look about the Giver about him. Uh, plus, I don't know, when I saw the cannons, part of me just thought like Ed 209 for Robocop. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like the giant head, like he's got like a giant Kenny dome as well. But it looks cool. I like when it comes out the water, you know, very slow and nice effects and stuff like that. Um, and then there you go, rockets are firing. So he's going to be, he's got good zoning to it. Is that a good zoning to it? Might be slow. Um, plus you see that harpoon Kenny gun he's got as well. So it's got to be interesting. But there you go, mere, mere zoning. She was. Hopefully we'll be getting up close anyway. Maybe headbutt people. Wouldn't want a headbutt off a black manta. That's one thing. Uh, and anybody out there, what is he? Can under that helmet, is he a... I don't know. Is he an alien or what? Is he a man with just a big, big massive helmet? Mm-hmm. Or is he... Can his, is his head that size? So anyway, rockets disappearing. Because became black manta was coming. Plus Raiden, you know, he was hinted with a shadow. And then people were going... Uh, oh, it's Johnny K oh, it could be Johnny Cage with a hat on and all this malarkey, all this stuff, eh? all this malarkey. And then, I think folk were saying there's somebody else in the DC Universe that's kind of got a heart like Raiden as well. I don't know the character's name. But, yeah, um, we kind of saw these two coming. But for me and people I've talked about since this game came out or I looked on the internet, I've not seen anybody mention the third person when that rocket gets caught and I reckon well again he's one of the things I recognise the red hand but it never clicked until he brought it 
to light the cigarette and then you're seeing the face, you're seeing that wee goatee and I was like, oh my god, whoa, hell boy, Jesus Christ, you know, I just never saw that coming, I never, I never, and I don't know if he, if you're able to make him out in one of the shadows, you know, back when they were done Fighter Park 1, would be interesting, because people were all about Beast Boy, so that's it. Um, as Hellboy replaced maybe another Kenny favourite I suppose but pff, hey Hellboy gee whiz good for him I like the films don't know if anybody else watched him Ron Perlman what a man he is I always liked that actor uh, back in the 80s he'd done a TV series what I love watching only mind seeing wee bits of it when you were a kid but you can get it on DVD now and it was actually Beauty and the Beast and it was a live action thing you know it was a TV series so obviously you had your cartoon for Disney and stuff, but you had this live action one, TV series, and it was Linda Hamilton was like the the woman, I can't remember if she was called Belle or I don't know, I don't think so, I think she was called something else. But you should check it out, because uh, Ron Perlman, the Hellboy, the guy who does Hellboy in the films, well maybe 8 to 10 years ago now, if not longer he done the films, um, he's just got that kind of face, eh? he's got that mean mug, you know, that chin and... You know, he's just perfect for Hellboy. So, if you haven't watched the films, give it a try, definitely. I enjoyed the both of them. I suppose one bit that stuck with me was, you know, in the first one, we try to spoil anything, or hopefully no ruin anything, but there was, the obviously used a bit of CGI for like this monster at one bit, and then I came to a bit when they did use the CGI, and it was basically a guy in a costume. It just seemed this 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 beastie, this enemy is fighting, he's jumping over the place, and he's really deadly. And then as soon as he touches the ground, he's just a piece of crap. That was... The costume looked nice, but it just... Ken, you're not going to pay that beastie jumping around everywhere. No, I'll just stick to the ground now and... Uh, I'm being picky. But that always stuck with me. I just thought that was a bit of a... Uh, you know... Maybe shouldn't have made him jump around all the place or... Um, just made him pure costume. Or just pure, pure CGI. But anyway, enough about me moaning. Uh, check the films out. Uh, I think it was Hellboy and then I think it was the Golden Army or something like that. Do yourself a favour. Really, really good. But yeah, good surprise. I was like, oh my god. I was really impressed. So he'll be a good fit. Um, obviously that big fist. That's going to be doing some massive damage to people. You know, it's like a power fist for Warhammer 40,000, you know. Uh, mean damage. Plus he's going to. I think it's, it's a Samaritan. I think the gun's called his pistol. That's a big bad boy as well. Never. I don't think. I, well, you ever saw him hold it anyway? You know. I don't know if he's got it on his person, but he's got the his gun. You know, a bit of zone in there. You know. So. Uh, and plus with that wee devil's tail, is he going to have that tail? You know. That's. Plus his super move, because again, there's another metamorphosis of Kenny Hellboy, if you watch the films, or Kenny the comics, which I didn't know about the comics. But, yeah, I'm looking, you're, you're always looking looking for what the super move's going to be, you know? And as I always get to do, Sub-Zero's are still cool. I love Captain Cold as well, you know? There's some of them are just awesome, some of them are a bit meh. Um, and plus the dialogue, you know? What are they going to be saying to each other? What's Raiden going to say to Sub-Zero? Or what are you doing here? Or... I'm come to get ye, or Kane. Uh, it was going to be interesting, it really is. And I think some people were on about, again, I don't know the character, but I think they were going, oh, they'll just make Raiden a skin. So since Raiden's a main guy, maybe they'll make this DC character a skin for Raiden. Uh, again, I don't know the character, I just remember people talking about it. But I do, I do feel sorry mainly for the, the, maybe hardcore or the lovers are injustice too. I didn't, I didn't, I just put myself as just being Kenny, so, so casual with it, I enjoy it, but it's no Mortal Kombat to me, as, yeah, it's, it's just, it's no, it's no that close to my chest, you know, Mortal Kombat's number one. But I would be annoyed if I was an Injustice, Ken, Injustice and Injustice 2 player, that we've got another Mortal Kombat character, and you've got a, guest character so you've only got one DC guy and everybody knew he was going to be coming ages ago I'm sure he was on a trailer so you got to see him actually playing as well obviously he's in the 
things that are stage transition is an old Aquaman's level you see them there. So it'll be interesting to see who gets swapped out. Ken, if you've got Black Manta there, who's going to be outside in the water? Will it be maybe Aquaman? But if you've got Black Manta versus Aquaman, who's it going to be? You know? It's like when you play Superman on the prison, Superman's not in the cell, so what animation is going to be there? I'm looking forward to that, to see who's going to do the actions. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. Kind of let the kids watch it as well. They've really enjoyed it. Love the music, you know, just as atmospheric, really. It just grabs you, and I just feel it starts kicking in with that guitar and that near the end, and it just, it just stops, you know? You know, you're wanting more, you know? They know their marketing thing really well, so... And I don't know if anybody's spotted a mistake, surely there'll be loads of people out there. But it's telling you, it's going to tell you, about, or show you Black Manta on Sunday, the 27th of May. So unless we're going to go back in time, or back to the future, um, obviously that mistake, it's obviously meaning August 27th. Some old template or something at the very, very end, which that's a bit amateurish, eh? You think they would uh, check everything, but... Just shows you how rushed it is, and even the pros can make mistakes, you know. People are getting specialised in all these things, eh? So, uh, it's going to be interesting anyway, it really, really is. And, yeah, it'll be. And, I suppose we'll find out a date, probably when, if they're showing off Black Man I start way, so, uh, we'll probably get a date for him, and then we'll be able to get a blueprint, probably, like Fighter Part 1, when I've done a wee video. And,. He a good guesstimate for when, because I think I did get all the characters' release dates on time. Obviously, other wee reveals or towers were a bit different because they used the special events to kind of boost the popularity of the game and uh, better advertising and better platform for them. But, yeah, once we find out the first one that comes out, uh, we should see who all follows then. So, again, more exciting stuff. Again, I watched this trailer, I don't, I don't know how many times, I watched the, getting the first one, Hund hundreds, it felt like, felt like hundreds anyway, this one, the same, again, good music, good atmosphere, you just wish it goes on for a wee while longer, eh, so, so, yeah, that's it, but yeah, again, what we're seeing in this trailer, and what we're seeing in the wee outro again, things can change, so, then you take everything, face value to start with, you know, after what happened with Sub-Zero. Oh, he's got swords! No, he doesn't, eh? They're just for show. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the trailer. Um, and always, thanks for the subscribers, likers, and commenters. Or if you've just catch my stuff now and again, take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Adios!